Hello, I'm uh, Ian McLeod, the Chief Executive of Ergon Energy Corporation. My earliest fond memory of working in energy is was really working with different customers. You know, I enjoyed being out there, whether it was connecting a, a new subdivision or a, a supply to a new farmer, or it might have been after a, a storm event or a disaster. You know, people got so excited about getting on, and uh, it was great to meet different people with different needs and be be able to help them out. So uh, that really gave me a buzz. Well, I'll list two, I guess. Uh, early on, uh, Richard Branson, I, I liked the way he took on the establishment, particularly British Airways, and came in with a different product and uh, changed an industry that had been you know, so stale for so long. And uh, also like the way he wants to have fun and uh, how he, he engages with his people and brings them into the business. Uh, I'd have to say today, obviously being in the energy industry, uh, Elon Musk is someone I'm, I'm very interest, interested in and I got to, to meet Elon last year, which is great, uh, but what he's done uh, in different areas of PayPal and uh, Tesla, battery storage, solar PV, SpaceX, uh, you know, he's a real innovator, he's got vision, he looks forward and he's, he's able to bring them to reality. The backbone of Ergon Energy is its people, you know, uh, we're there to service our customers. We've got some significant challenges across regional Queensland. We cover 97% of the state. Uh, we're subject to disaster events. Uh, we've got a big mining load in Queensland. So a lot of challenges, but it's our people who stand up and meet those. They're very innovative. They're looking for different ways of solving different problems. Uh, we're very much trying to put the customer at the centre of everything. So our people working with our customers to deliver better service. So, you know, they, they respect the customer and they're delivering for them. Well, really someone who's got our, our values. You know, our values are around what we call our spirit values. And it's safety, professionalism, uh, integrity, respect, innovation and teamwork. Uh, we're looking for partners that, that have got those sort of values, but also have our sort of vision as well. You know, we're out there to be more productive in the way we provide energy, to improve gross domestic product, to in, improve our customers' lives. But our skills and our knowledge need to be complementary so that we create that value. Uh, we're looking for substance uh, and we're looking for passion. So that's what we're looking for in a partner. Well, Roams is a, uh, it's a spatial intelligence solution that was developed by Ergon. Uh, we have one of the lowest density uh, customer bases in the world. Uh, we've got 160,000 kilometres of asset, only around 730,000 customers. And as you can imagine in that, there's a lot of vegetation, a lot of power lines to be able to manage. Now, we couldn't see uh, what was out there. We can test poles and we can inspect poles and transformers and all those sorts of things, but I couldn't see the surrounding environment. So, so we created Roams as a spatial uh, virtual world solution that has centimetre accuracy. It involves capturing uh, our asset using an aerial platform, uh, significant computing speed, uh, machine learning technology, LiDAR technology, high resolution imagery to create that virtual world and to process uh, our network out there. So look, it's now we can see where we couldn't before. Uh, in terms of the benefits, we do have a five year roadmap and uh, a lot of the benefits we, we foresaw early in the piece. One was significantly reducing our vegetation and we've been successful in doing that, our vegetation management costs. The other is disaster response. We are responding quicker now because we can see the damage out there uh, earlier than we've ever been able to see it before. So we've used the Rome's technology there. We've improved customer safety. So uh, 
conductors that are below clearances. We've found some very dangerous situations out there and, and areas that are under code that we've been able to correct because we fly it every year and we capture that information. So we've been able to improve customer safety, the reliability of supply for our customers. We've been able to reduce costs, which is bringing down the costs on the bill. So some other benefits we actually see coming out when you know we have about 800 users in Ergon and when they get to see the product and use it in the context of their own role, they come up with their own benefits. So it multiplies, it's like a virus. Well, my advice for anyone entering the workplace now is, A, it's a great industry to be in at this, at this time. There's a significant amount going on. It's not just power anymore. It's about communications, it's information, it's data, it's spatial awareness, it's digital. Uh, it's all the analytics that go across that. So, Jesus, it's an exciting industry. You know, we're on some of the big trends in a lot of different areas. So, uh, get in there. What I would say is get experience in the business and the business problems. Understand technology. So move around the business. Don't put yourself in a box. Move around the business, whether it's finance, engineering, field services, or into the technology side and all those sorts of things. Understand the business and, and use what's available to solve problems and deliver better customer service. I think the next greatest challenge in energy is, is trying to get consensus on a vision for the industry and, and what the objectives are, what we're trying to achieve, and developing a pathway there. You know, there's a, there's a lot of different views out there at the moment. We've got disruptive technology coming in and uh, almost uh, uh, the, the, you know, the traditional industry and the technology industry going head to head, whereas they're complementary in reality. And if we can see that, uh, we, then we can achieve a lot. So what are the strategic objectives we're trying to achieve? We want a cleaner environment. Yes, we can do that. We don't want to impact gross domestic product. We want to increase it. So we want to increase energy productivity. We want equitable outcomes for everyone. So everybody benefits in the space. We want to create opportunities for employment. So if we can create a vision that delivers on all those strategic objectives, as well as having a secure and reliable network, thing that's important to our, to our economies, then we're all going to